Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Marcus Aurelius, and this is Crusader Kings 2, after the end. And we are the kingdom of Gran Francisco. Now the hereditary kingdom of Gran Francisco, because in the last episode, we changed our form of government from elective monarchy to ultimo geniture. Geniture? which means that the youngest member of the children of King Marcus will inherit the entire kingdom, which probably means once this new child is born that Princess Marina is going to get a little pissed off, but unfortunately that's how things work. In the last episode also, Marcus was able to get the prefecture of Salinas, and he is currently trying to get a claim on the province of of the Count, I suppose, Countee of Monterey. He was just going to take it from Walter, who's in prison, but that will make his vassals upset with him, and his vassals are already kind of pissed off. This guy is, like, pretty much neutral with us. And Nicole does like us a little bit at 20. Because I crushed a major revolt. That probably won't last very long. I wonder how long the outrage will last. Hopefully not her entire life. But Tim, yeah, Tim's just not feeling it. And he's younger than Nicole. He's also envious, which causes him to dislike me as well. Which means that, in a pinch, he will not provide me with much in the way of troops. Firearmed. In possession of a functioning pre-calamity firearm. Oh yeah, let's talk about the calamity. Because some people have come to the mistaken impression that... The post-apocalyptic nature of this game is based on, I'll let time pass while I'm talking, is based on a nuclear war. And that is not it. Indeed, a meteor apparently was going to hit the Earth. And all the powers of Earth kind of got together and said, we got to stop this. So they hit it with all their nuclear weapons, which broke the meteor up. So there was no great catastrophe. However, when the little pieces of the meteor landed on the Earth, they carried with them an alien plague which wiped out like 95% of the planet's population. And uh, it took 300 years or so. Let's see, what is it? Uh, well, 600 years, actually. To finally build up an immunity to that plague, and that's where things are now. Let's crack it open. Also, what I want to do is I want to... Uh, the safe door finally open. Arithmometer... Okay. I'm also going to be investing some money in Santa Cruz. And we have a new daughter. Not Vera. Who, okay, what's what's a good female name of all the boroughs of San Francisco? How about... We have Marina already. How about... Sunset. The Sunset district. That's a pretty name. Sunset Aurelius. Alright, let's, uh, let's build some walls in Santa Cruz. And pretty soon, hopefully, Monterey will be ours as well. We'll have the entire coastal region. And we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Building a new holding would cost a lot. Nice. More gold. Thank you, Colin. After weeks of study, your tinkers have finally restored your numeric calculating machine to working condition. You are still learning how to operate it. You enter numerals by sliding the levers into the correct positions, then turn the heavy crank, and the machine produces the results of addition to mere sounds. This will make it much easier to keep track of the rents and taxes that are owed to you. Nice calculator. That's actually a... Uh, yes, it is one of my things. So it gives me plus two stewardship, plus one learning, and some monthly prestige. Doesn't give me enough stewardship to add to my domain, but that's okay. I'm a naive appeaser, a hunter. I am proud, which is good, though. Proud is a negative that is not that negative. 
and I have a strong claim on the county of San Joaquin. I, um, I'm almost tempted to try to take it, but the valley is ridiculously strong, and my vassals hate me, so they're not going to really give me much in the way of troops. Now let's look at these other guys. How Do you, do you like me? No, you don't really like me either. Because of a female heir. Oh man, what a jerk. And he desires the prefecture. Well, screw you. How about you? You like me. You're okay with me. You're pretty cool. Wrong government type. Oh, you're not a castle, are you? You're a, um... You're a temple, I guess. A Tascadero? The school. Okay, you're the school of Obispo. I forgot how to deal with that. I guess if you if you get rid of this guy somehow and replace him with this guy, then it becomes a regular county and everything works well for you. I forgot how to do that. I think you have to kind of take over this and then... I forget. Mention in the comments how I can go about changing the county of Obispo from a school to the barony so that I can not have that negative income. Oh, look at this. Raiders, huh? Nicole, I know you're not super happy with me, but can you please send your troops to help me, please? That'd be nice. Alright. And it looks like they're coming to fight me. Where are you going? Nope, they're just running away. I like the sound of that. Are you still in the bay? No, you're over here. Okay. This band. I'm actually making some good money now. Let's actually build up another retinue, finally. We keep losing them, but this one I'm going to really try hard to keep alive. A heavy cavalry revenue would be great, which we cannot have, unfortunately. Defense, shock, skirmish, light skirmish. Yeah, I guess... Shock. Oh, we can't get that either. Alright, defense it is. Lame. Maybe we'll be able to have bigger revenue if we get the county of Monterey. In the meantime, he hasn't found anything here. Yeah, the valley has to be our main antagonist because they are so large. Jefferson will help us. Especially because my wife... I think my wife comes with an alliance. Do we? I can't... So, allies. Yes. I have two brothers-in-law. I have the Prefect of the Redwoods and the Count of Humboldt. So if we were to get in a scuffle with the Valley, perhaps they would help. Training grounds. Yes. Wow, that is all our money. Wow. Oh well. There's more where that came from, I'm sure. I'm going to have a little bit of ale. Because what king... What king can go without ale? I really wish my guys would wear my own heraldry. And not this kind of boring brown heraldry of Grand Francisco. Ah, oh, San Joaquin. I would love to add you to our kingdom, but the valley is strong. Wait a minute. The king of the valley is just a kid? Nine years old? Hmm. Oh, look. More raiders. 
Boy, howdy. Wow, 1,400 troops in Gran Francisco. I like it. Actually, you know what? Nicole should defend her own... Her own prefecture from the Raiders. Doesn't look like she's gonna, though. Nicole's kind of weak. I guess that's good. Better to have a weak vassal than a strong one. Thousand of them, though. It's pretty good. Pretty good for Raiders. But we're gonna send them packing. I don't know if uh, that will actually make Nicole like me more. Probably not. But here we come to save the day. And they're leaving. They're like, nah, we don't want any of this. Are we going to catch them? Nope. And my vassals are already bitching. Just get out of here, raiders. We don't want your kind here. And wow, we got the, wow, major river crossing. Really tough battle, but we are going to come out ahead because we outnumber them so greatly. All right. Good night to you, Raiders. Where are you going? Oh, back to your boats. New important decisions are available. Let's just pause for a second here. Dangerous Factions, the Lower Crown Authority Faction. The leader is Count Laurel of San Benito. Well, we have a person in here trying to discourage her from joining factions. Yeah, so, I mean... Go ahead. I'm not afraid of you, Count of San Benito. Why are you such a jerk? We could definitely use Monterey, though. So come on, guy. Let's get working on this claiming. I wouldn't call this a dangerous faction. Or actually, wow. The, with Nicole helping, they have 122% of my force. And I'm out of money, actually. So let's think about this for a minute. Let's see, can I do anything to Nicole? Can I... No. Alright, so Princess Marina is now age 5. Shouldn't I be like... Yeah, educate the child. I wonder... It, I thought it was it would, like, tell you. Okay, it would tell you. She's not old enough yet. Okay, she has to be six. Alright, good to know. Alright, so we have to deal with a dangerous faction here, and... They are stronger than I am. And I don't have enough money to bribe Nicole. Possible plot power of 55%. That's not good enough. What can I do to kind of make her happy? Not much, really. Hmm. I mean, I could raise a pretty good sum. And I, it could be a defensive war, so maybe it would be in my favor. But right now, we just don't have... What is the cheapest mercenary company... Fifty? Fifty gold? Looks like. Yeah, fifty gold, but really, if you want a decent one, you're gonna need more than that. So we need a way out of this. Huh. Looks like Chris wants to kill 
Wayne. Huh. Oh wow, we have a lot of prisoners. Okay, Walter will pay to ransom Sydney. Or Cindy, I mean. Marla? Oh, we, have, we can only do it one at a time. I see. Yeah, I have no interest in imprisoning random women. Okay. But we could definitely use that money. So... And he'll also... 46 gold? Heck yeah! That'll pay for that one cheap mercenary company. Come on, say yes. Really, 50? That's how many retinue I have? 50 people? Woo. Alright. We have Nicole, Susan, 26 gold, while Walter is just giving me all his money. Apparently I have his entire family. I didn't even know that. I'm sorry, guys. I have a little girl in jail for a year. Kind of a dick move in bird culture. Oh, 57. Okay, good. All right. And Susan... No? Who is... Who is Susan, exactly? She's just a random person. And 120%, so they're... I guess they're not ready to try to overthrow me just yet. Okay, Susan. You can go home. Walter. 70 gold? Sure. You're just a count. I don't care. Although, watch. He'll join the faction. But now I have enough money to hire mercenaries. And we just got our castle walls in Santa Cruz. Excellent. Just try it. Just try it, Nicole. 121 percent. Boy, I would sure like a claim on Monterey guy. That would be super helpful. I almost want to send him to make friends with Nicole. Oh, boy. Let's do it. I mean, it's just... I don't need the faction coming against me. So we, one of these two should help. He'll, you know, he'll improve relations and he'll try to discourage her from joining the faction. We're up at 65. What's the max? 300. Okay. We're reinforcing very slowly. Like, ridiculously slowly. Oh, here we go. It's time. It is time to be the grandparents. Oh, right. Right, Count Mariano of Tijuana. Right. Alright, if I educate the princess myself, she will... like me. And I think it's, what is it, 15? That I have to give her to somebody else? Hope so. So we'll educate the little princess Marina. Raiders up and down the coast. Jefferson's facing hard times. Who who are you fighting with? Hopefully not the valley. Can't let the valley get any stronger. SoCal's ridiculous. Gadsden is ridiculous. Who's in charge of you? High Chief Martin. Desiree. Wyoming's pretty powerful. The West Snake seems pretty powerful. Oh, Raiders. Oh, not my problem. <laughs> they're in they're in Tim's territory. The Trailblazers. Wow, they're pretty big. That's High Chiefess Veronica the Bold. 
Yeah, one problem is Grand Francisco is you are not really close to any weak powers to take over. I mean, if you're going to fight somebody, you're going to fight one of your co-kingdoms, and that's going to be rough. Looks like the Raiders are going after Stanislaus. And the faction's pretty tough, but I can afford good mercenaries now. So let's see what they do. And Shasta is pregnant once again. Walter, just he just hates me so much. Yeah, let's see, Nicole. Use your forces to take care of these raiders. I'm not going to help you. To hell with you. If you're going to faction against me, I'm just going to let you get raided. I'm going to let you get uh, devastated is what I'm going to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I am Marcus Aurelius, and this is Crusader Kings 2 After the End. And we, of course, are the kingdom of Gran Francisco. And Marcus now has three children. Hip, hip, hooray. And this new child will be the heir as soon as they, uh, I guess, survive infancy or survive being a fetus actually, is I guess the term we're looking for here. And uh, hopefully, maybe next episode will either discourage Countess Nicole, or Prefect S. Nicole, Prefect Nicole, from being part of this faction, or we will just make her like me so much that she does not want to be in the faction. Obviously, she can't hold it against me forever that I change the succession laws. But maybe she will, who knows? <laughs> Once again, I'm Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.